Runway's new Olaf, I think, is what you thought chat video editing should be. Hey, my name is Rosh, and I'm the co-host of the Creative AI Show, and Runway has released Olaf, and it's pretty cool, and we're going to test it out to see how good it really is, and does it add to the chat experience? Now, you can use both video traditional methods as well as chat, but I think as we move forward in the process of developing our AI videos, chat is going to be an important part of that process just by telling chat. Sometimes I'm sure in the future, even more so with voice, just say, hey, you know, turn that car green versus red. I mean, things like that will be done. It'll be more of a communication back and forth. But this chat mode with Olive really gives you some control that maybe you thought you already have, but for sure, now it's here. I created this video in mid-journey and then took it over to Runway's Olive to see if it could turn it into a rainy scene convincingly. So I uploaded it and simply said, make it a rainy day. And here we are. And yeah, it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Take our biker and put him in a rainstorm and or just make it rain. And yeah, change the mood of the lighting. It's raining. It's convincing. Pretty good. Let's try it again. Next, I have this model in a castle in a green dress and orange gloves. And I wanted to change the angle and actually have her look out the window at her kingdom. And this is what we did. This is in the chat mode and I uploaded the video and said opposite angle looking behind model and you can see the kingdom out the window. It took about four or five minutes to create and here we go. Yeah, it's actually focusing on the kingdom out the window and you can see the little details. Look at the river flowing. Uh, she's again in shallow focus, but it's the same model. If you see all the elements of her dress, uh, I think it did exactly what I asked for. I, I don't think the details are quite as good as the original, but maybe just because she is a little out of focus uh, with the shallower depth of field in the foreground. I think ultimately, not too bad at all. Next one's a little tougher because it's food. And as we know, food can be difficult. This video, again, created in mid-journey. I'm gonna take it over to Runways and ask it to turn this steak into a turkey. So here it is. And actually, I went through a whole process, a little bit of back and forth in the chat mode. And it told me exactly what it did here. It doesn't look like much of a turkey. I'll show it to you in a moment. Uh, but maybe it's kind of one of those, you know, fake turkeys where they pull it into a ball or something. But it told us what it did. And then I said, make it look more like turkey shaped and more dramatic lighting. And here we go. And, and I'll show you that one in a moment. And again, it tells you what it did. And again, we can follow up and say, turn the turkey into a fish. Let's call it trout. And here we go. Now we're underway. And then again, it's a back and forth. And this will take a few moments. But while we're waiting, we'll take a look at what it did before. So here, here's the first one. And yeah, it looks like, I mean, it's the, the outer skin is turkey. And there's this stuff, whatever that may be. And, and I guess that's kind of a wing here. What do you think? So it, it's not quite right, but it, it went the right direction. Now let's take a look at the adjustment. So I asked for more turkey shape. And no, it didn't quite. This actually, I think whatever the... Um, Spice or rosemary was on top or whatever it was supposed to be. I don't really know what it was because I, I didn't recognize it as a real thing. Uh, it was trying to turn that into something. Uh, I, I did. We did give us the more dramatic light, but it didn't do a good job turning it into a turkey. So let's see if it did a better job turning this turkey into a trout. Well, here's our turkey turned into a trout. And <laughs> I'm not so sure. Uh what do we got here? Yeah, it, hmm. Turkey trout. Um, there's some 
trout-ish up here. This is still a rather turkey. Um, I, I think that was kind of a failure. But you know what? That is getting kind of deep into the weeds of the detail within this video. You know, more a better use of this tool is really going for a different angle in the same scene. You have to be very direct and say, hey, I want the same subject. Don't change the subject and you may get a little bit more based on some of the examples I've seen elsewhere with other people's videos. And I do look at other people's videos because I like to see how they approached these things too. It's helpful to look at a few different videos, a few different approaches, as well as Runway's version because they will show you how ultimately it was intended to be used. So I think the biker with the rain was a very good example. Turning the turkey into a trout, not its strength, obviously. Uh, the different angle with the model, yes, that was a better use of the new upgrade. Here's another example. This is from another video that I created. I, I brought this image to life, and here it is. It's also important to note, and it'll let you know that it'll only take the first five seconds of your video. So if you created a video elsewhere, this is kind of video to video editing. If you created the video elsewhere and it's eight seconds, for example, it's only gonna take the first five. Now this was created within Runway in a different video where I uploaded this image and I said, bring it to life and here we go. Now, now I said, change the angle and make it a sunny day. And it changed the angle to a lower angle. And I was thinking something a little bit different. It did also change the uh, lizard monster. It, it's, it's softer. It's not as detailed. And I think that's something we noticed on a couple other videos like the model. So... In some, in some cases, it will, I think, degrade your video. This should improve over time. But ultimately, this approach represents the future of video editing. Just talking to the AI, letting it know what you want. But you do have to be specific. It went down to a lower angle. I was thinking complete opposite, kind of like the model in the castle. But it's not reading my mind. And you have to be very specific if you want certain things to stay in the image and not change. It's important to make note of it. So let me know what you think. Is this the future of editing? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to hear more about AI for the creative, check into the Creative AI Show every Monday where we are two creative guys talking AI. See you in the next video.